Good day to everyone. Today, I will discuss how jail personnel differs from PNP and other law enforcement agencies. But first, I will discuss BJMP jail personnel and their functions. Jail Warden The functions of Jail Warden Coordinates with concerned agencies regarding the case of inmate for speedy disposition and to furnish them with copies of the available needed documents. Second, the jail warden shall see to it that all concerned agencies and persons will be informed of the commitment of the inmate in his or her jail by submitting a written report. Through his or her paralegal officer, he or she shall ensure that the courts and prosecutor's office are attending to the case of the inmate by constantly coordinating with them for the purpose of speeding up the disposition of the case. Second is paralegal officer. The functions of paralegal officer is that they verify the authenticity of the court orders, coordinates with the custodial duty whenever there are paralegal activities, Third, monitors the case status of inmates and acts appropriately on cases that qualify for early release of inmates. Fourth, assists inmates in availing themselves of any of the modes for early release. Another is endorses to the provincial paralegal officers' cases that need to be acted upon by a provincial agency or an agency within the territorial jurisdiction of the province. If the jail does not have the resources to coordinate with such an agency, coordinates with other sections in the jail in the conduct of paralegal activities, coordinates with the local justice and welfare sector agencies, example, PAO, prosecutors, courts, BPP, PPA, and LS, WDO to protect the rights of and to promote the development of inmates, especially CICL or Children in Conflict with Law. Organizes, coordinates, and supervises paralegal volunteers, service providers, and other organizations that provide paralegal services. Oversees the organization of a pool of paralegal aids among the inmates for the purpose of attaining the objectives of his or her office. Supervises, trains, and lead paralegal coordinators in promoting awareness of inmates' rights, relevant laws, and modes of releases. Enforces uniform guidelines for paralegal volunteers and non-governmental organizations providing paralegal services in harmony with the BJMP National Headquarters issuances. Implements, develops, and plans short-term and long-term programs and activities to enhance paralegal services. Recommends to the provincial paralegal officer the adoption of certain policies. Submits paralegal reports to the provincial paralegal officer not later than 10th day of each month. Submits an annual accomplishment report not later than the 10th day of January each year and submits confidential report on any person, regulation, or policy. Next is the desk officer. The functions of the desk officer is to book the newly committed inmate in the jail blotter. Assigns the inmate to a reception area, if any, where he or she shall be scheduled for orientation on jail rules and regulations and shall undergo risk assessment and classification, evaluation, and conduct of further medical evaluation or screening by the medical officer. Next is liaison officer. Coordinates and officially transact business reports and other government agencies, non-governmental organizations, and local government units on jail programs, projects, and activities as directed by the warden 
and inform the chief of administration about the results of daily transactions and liaison activities. Next is the property custodian. There are four functions of the property custodian. The first one is to check the inmates' belongings for the presence of contraband like cigarettes, alcohol, and drugs. Discovery of any contraband shall be treated in accordance with existing policies. Second, takes all cash and other personal properties from the inmate, list them down on a receipt form with duplicate, duly signed by him or her, and countersigned by the inmate or now called persons deprived of liberty. The original receipt should be given to the inmate and a duplicate be kept by the property custodian. Third, keeps all cash and other valuables of the inmate in a safety vault. Said cash and valuables may be turned over to any person authorized by the inmate. And four, refers the inmate to the desk officer. Next is medical officer. Functions of the medical officer. First, all offenders committed to district, city, and municipal jails and BGMP personnel are entitled to available health services. Second, check on the authenticity of the entries in the medical certificate, conduct thorough physical examination to assess the condition of the inmate, and ask searching questions to determine injuries sustained after the conduct of medical examination or those injuries not diagnosed prior to the commitment in jail. Third, establish and maintain proper coordination with local executives, local health units, and civic health organizations for seeking health-related assistance. And fourth, shall coordinate and or assist in the conduct of medical missions by benevolent groups, associations, and agencies. Five, make referral of patients to a hospital or clinic. Six, shall perform actively in the physical examination, diagnosis, and treatment of medical and surgical cases affecting offenders and personnel shall conduct daily progress records of all confined patients in BJM hospitalized in other healthcare institutions shall likewise be monitored and properly recorded shall supervise and provide technical assistance to all health personnel in the conduct of healthcare delivery and shall conduct epidemiologic studies of disease affecting personnel or offenders and other relevant statistics Next is Dental Officer. The Functions of Dental Officer. Functions of Dental Officer. Number one, all offenders committed to district, city, and municipal jails and BJMP personnel are entitled to available health services like the services provided by the dental officer. Newly committed offenders shall be thoroughly evaluated, examined, and the result of said evaluation or examination shall be properly recorded. Emphasis must be made on external signs of trauma like abrasions, contusions, hematomas, and others. Companions of offenders must be noted and recorded, including jail guards in attendance. Third, establish and maintain proper coordination with local executives, local health units, and civic health organizations for seeking health-related assistance and shall coordinate and or assist in the conduct of medical missions by benevolent groups, associations, and agencies. Next is jail nurse. Functions of jail nurse. All offenders committed to district, city, and municipal jails and BJMP personnel are entitled to available health services. Newly committed offenders shall be thoroughly evaluated, examined, and properly recorded. 
emphasis must be made on external signs of trauma like abrasions, contusions, hematoma, and others. Companions of offenders must be noted and recorded, including jail guards in attendance. Establish and maintain proper coordination with local executives, local health units, and civic health organizations for seeking health-related assistance. Court shall coordinate and assist in the conduct of medical missions by benevolent groups like NGOs, associations, and agencies. Fifth, shall properly document and report to higher authorities all kinds of donations given to offenders and or office. Six, conduct regular assessment of health situations of inmates. Seven, program health activities in jail such as medical mission, health education, and other related health activities and acts as medical or health records learn. Eight, administer medications of general prescription for common diseases in the absence of a medical officer. 9. Conduct frequent health education programs for inmates, emphasizing on the importance of personal hygiene in the prevention of diseases. And provide first aid or emergency assistance to inmates and co coordinate with the city or municipal health officer and other agencies NGOs for assistance, medical checkup, and treatment of inmates. Next is the Inmate Welfare and Development IWD Unit Officer. The functions of the IWD Officer coordinates with the custodial duty whenever there are activities keeps records and reports of all IWD's activities and accomplishments, establishes coordinations with governmental organizations, non-governmental organizations, local government units, and other service providers, and the community through the jail warden on every IWD activity to be undertaken. Coordinates with various religious sectors in the implementation in jail of religious activities or programs, supervises the use of tools and other potentially dangerous articles such as bottles, acids, kitchen knives, and others, and keep them out of inmates' reach when not in use. Supervises the orientation of inmates on all BJMP rules and regulations related only to their detention. Supervises the issuances, safekeeping, accounting, and disposal of IWD materials and items. Accounts and secures properly in a safe place kitchen utensils, knives, and other IWD materials, making them inaccessible to inmates. Provide inmates with education and skills training programs and work programs to enhance their chances for employment upon release. Provide opportunity for inmates to attend religious services, avail themselves of guidance and counseling, and coordinate with other units, agencies, institutions concerned in conceptualizing, implementing, and promoting inmates' welfare programs. Promotes participation by inmates in civic programs and activities, values formation, group dynamics, and others. Give opportunity to inmates for active participation in a variety of recreation and sports activities in jail. Thirteen, assist in coordinating for the early release of inmates in line with an existing of the congestion programs. Fourteen, briefs or orients inmates on jail policies and regulations. Fifteen, identify inmates with potential or ability to undertake rehab education training, and work programs. 16. Initiates implementation of supplementary programs, activities to enhance the rehabilitation of individual inmates. 17. Conducts continuing study to determine the effectiveness of every IWD program, project, activity, 
implemented and make appropriate recommendation. 18. Conduct periodic inventory of IWD supplies and materials in order to prevent filtrage, loss, or manufacture of improvised deadly weapons by inmates and submit report thereon. 19. Improves the productivity of viable livelihood projects through employment of cost-saving measures, search for better market, and increase in yield or production and quality enhancement. 20. Account for inmates have been fully rehabilitated and recommend their possible employment upon release. And ensure sustainability of TCMP or Therapeutic Community Modality Program in Jails. Now, I will discuss how BJMP differs from other law enforcement agencies. BJMP differs from other law enforcement agencies through number one, mandate, second, function, and third are ranks. The mandate of BJMP is that BJMP is mandated to direct, supervise, and control the administration and operation of all district, city, and municipal jails nationwide with prolonged tasks of safekeeping and development of PDL. The functions, one, in line with its mission, the Jail Bureau or BJMP, and therefore to perform the following functions. Formulate policies and guidelines in the administration of all districts, city, and municipal jails nationwide. Second, implement strong security measures for the control of PDL. Third, Provide for the basic needs of PDL. Fourth, conduct activities for the development of PDL. Fifth, improve jail facilities. And lastly, to promote the general welfare and development of personnel. Now we have the BJMP ranks. The highest ranking officer in BJMP is the jail director similar to the two-star Major General of the Armed Forces. This is the BJMP's highest ranking official or Chief of the Bureau. Below him is the Jail Chief Superintendent, one-star Brigadier General in the AFP. This is the Regional Director, Directorial Staff, or the Deputy Chief. Next is the Jail Senior Superintendent. This is the Colonel. With three Sampagita leaves, this rank is for Provincial Director or City Director. Next is Jail Superintendent with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel, similar to the Armed Forces, two Sampagita leaves or the Jail Warden. Jail Chief Inspector with the rank of Major in the Armed Forces with one Sampagita leaf as the insignia. The Jail Senior Inspector with the rank of a Captain, similar in the Armed Forces, with two Ananahaw leaves. This is for Doctors, Lawyers, Chaplain, and Deputy Warden. Next is the Jail Inspector or similar to the Lieutenant in the Armed Forces with one Ananahaw leaf as insignia. These are for Nurse, Social Worker, Information Technology Officer, Technician, Engineer, Therapist, Teacher, Scientist, Accountant, and Licensed Criminologists. Next is the Non-Commissioned Officers, the Senior Jail Officer 4 with the rank of Chief Master Sergeant in the Armed Forces, the Senior Jail Officer 3 with Senior Master Sergeant in Armed Forces, and Senior Jail Officer 2, Master Sergeant in Armed Forces. Basically, this is the comparison of the ranks in BJMP and the Armed Forces. The Senior Jail Officer 1 with Sub Sergeant in Army or Armed Forces of the Philippines. The Jail Officer 3 or Corporal. Jail Officer 2 or Private First Class in Armed Forces and Jail Officer 1 or Private, and Jail Officer or Basic Jail Internship. 
Next, I will compare BJMP to the PNP in terms of mandate, functions, and ranks. The mandate of the PNP, Republic Act 6975 entitled an Act Establishing the Philippine National Police under a reorganized Department of the Interior and Local Government and other purposes as amended by Republic Act 8551 Philippine National Police Reform and Reorganization Act of 1998 and further amended by RA 9708. The functions of the PNP are 1. Law Enforcement 2. Maintain Peace and Order 3. Prevents and investigate crimes and bring offenders to justice 4. Exercise the vested powers from the Philippine Constitution and pertinent laws. Fifth, detain an arrested person for a period not beyond what is prescribed by law. 12 hours for light penalties, 24 hours for correctional penalties, and 36 hours for afflictive and capital punishment crimes. And six, implement pertinent laws and regulations on firearms and explosive control and seven supervise and control the training and operations of security agencies now we will tackle the ranks in pnp for the commission officers we have the four star general the police general followed by the three star or police lieutenant general the two star general is the police major general followed by the Police Regular General, Police Colonel, Police Lieutenant Colonel, Police Major, Police Captain, and Police Lieutenant. For the non commissioned Officer, we have the Police Executive Master Sergeant, the Police Chief Master Sergeant, Police Senior Master Sergeant, Police Master Sergeant, Police Staff Sergeant, Police Corporal, and Patrolman or Patrolwoman. Next is I will compare BJMP to the mandate and function of LTO. The Land Transportation Office, a sectoral agency of the Department of Transportation, DOTR, by virtue of Executive Order EO number 125 and 125A, dated 13th of April 1987, and EO number 226, dated 25th of July 1987 is tasked to register motor vehicles, issue driver or conductor's licenses and permits, enforce transportation laws, rules and regulations, and adjudicate apprehension cases. So LTO is also a law enforcement agency. Next is I will compare BJMP to BFP in mandate and functions and also in ranks. The Bureau of Fire Protection was created by virtue of RA 6975 primarily to perform the following functions. 1. Be responsible for prevention and suppression of all destructive fires on building, houses, and other structures, forests, land transportation, vehicles, and equipment, Ships and vessels dock at piers, wharves, anchored in major seaports, petroleum industry installations, plane crashes, and other similar activities. 2. Be responsible for the enforcement of the Fire Code of the Philippines, PD 1185, and other related laws. 3. Shall have the power to investigate all causes of fire and, if necessary, file the proper complaint with the city or provincial prosecutor who has jurisdiction over the case. 4. In time of national emergency, all elements of the BFP shall upon direction of the president assist the AFP or the armed forces of the Philippines in meeting the national emergency and 5. Shall establish at least one fire station with adequate personnel firefighting facilities and equipment in every provincial, capital, 
city and municipality subject to standard rules and regulations as may be promulgated by the ALG or Department of Interior and Local Government. Now we have the BFP ranks. The Fire Chief Superintendent, which is equivalent to Brigadier General in the AFP. The Fire Director or Major General in the AFP. The Fire Chief Inspector or Major in the AFP. The Fire Superintendent or Lieutenant Colonel in the AFP. The Fire Senior Superintendent Colonel in the AFP. Or the Inspector, Lieutenant and the senior inspector or captain in the AFP. The fire non-officer ranks insignia. We have the senior fire officer 1 or staff sergeant, senior fire officer 2, technical sergeant, senior fire officer 3 or master sergeant, senior fire officer 4 or senior master sergeant, fire officer 1 or Private first class, the fire officer two or corporal, and fire officer three or sergeant. So this is in comparison with the ranks in BFP to AFP. Next is the Philippine Army in comparison with BJMP. The, the Philippine Army Land Forces is one of the three major services of the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP. The other are the Philippine Air Force and the Navy. Its visions, missions, and functions are the following. Vision. The vision of the Philippine Army is to be a professional, capable, and responsive army that is a source of national pride. Mission. The mission of the Philippine Army is to organize, train, Equip, deploy, and sustain ground forces in the conduct of support operations to win the peace in order to help the Philippine nation create an environment conducive for sustainable development and just and lasting peace. The following are the functions of the Philippine Army. The function of the Philippine Army as embodied in the revised administrative code of 1987 are the following to develop organize train and equip army forces in the conduct of prompt and sustained combat operations on land second to prepare such units as may be necessary for the effective implementation of national defense plans and programs and armed forces missions including support to the national development and disaster response. Third, to develop tactics, techniques, and equipment of interest to the Army on field operations to increase interoperability with other major services and international allies. Fourth, to train, organize, and equip all Army Reserve units for the possible expansion of the peacetime army component to meet any emergency like me like i am a surgeon in a reserve force and to perform such functions as the higher authorities may direct so the philippine army ranks the officer with the highest rank of general or four star general followed by the lieutenant general Major General, Brigadier General, Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel, Major, Captain, First Lieutenant, and Second Lieutenant. Next is the enlisted personnel. With, we have the First Chief Master Surgeon, Chief Master Surgeon, Senior Master Surgeon, Master Surgeon, Technical Surgeon, Staff Surgeon, Surgeon by rank in the Reserve Forces, Corporal, Private First Class, and Private. Thank you for listening and watching.